TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, February 2024 edition, with your hosts, Pablo Gunner and The Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you. We're going to cover the PlayStation State of Play. So we're going to move on to PlayStation State of Play, which... We kind of have like a little, that's, we had the Xbox Developers Direct the previous month. Yeah. So this was an interesting contract because this was more focused, right? Like there wasn't the the developer interviews, which I kind of missed, but kind of didn't miss because it got to the point and just showed us what we wanted, but it also kind of missed heart at the same time. They showed uh, Helldivers 2, which is out. It's yeah. out. It's only available on PlayStation. PlayStation. I know it's on PlayStation. If you have PlayStation Plus, you got it. You can play it. And to me, it just looked like a Destiny ripoff. But I've heard it's a great game. I've heard so many good things from people that it is a blast playing and it is really, really good. Yeah, definitely check it out if you're you're a PlayStation person. Then we have Stellar Blade, which that was a gorgeous hack and slash game. And that looked fantastic. And that comes out April 26th. So keep your eyes out for that. Then we have Sonic X Shadow Generation Generations, and that comes out in autumn. I'm that looks pretty for that. cool. That looks really good, and that's I'm like that has to be a Papa Gunner review. Like I saw it, and I was like, I've been looking for more games to to play with the kiddos. I'm definitely I, I really hope we can get this. If I'm gonna get it myself, if we can't get it, but yeah, and, and I'll be covering it. So for sure, we're gonna get that. It looks like a blast. Yeah, it definitely looks like a fun game. I like the other generations game, so I can't wait to see how they do this one. Uh, then there was Zenless Zone Zero, which sounds like it's just a mech fighter type thing. I honestly don't remember. Then there is Foam Stars, and that comes out February sixth. That's also another one that's like it comes out just PlayStation on, and if you have PlayStation Plus, you got it. It seems similar to Splatoon, but not quite. Right. Yeah. It. I don't know. I haven't really heard much about it, which is not a good thing, but I haven't really heard bad about it either. So, yeah. Uh, then there's Dave the Diver that comes out in April, and that actually looks really cool. It was like a, kind of like a 3D, or two was like a 2D, but it's a side scroll, but kind of 3D. I don't know. They meshed it. And it looks really cool and really neat. That was like XC Exploration. That looks really cool. And then there's V Rising, which that reminded me of Gauntlet, but with like building elements. Loved Gauntlet back on, back in the day, which I want to say was Sega Genesis? Um, NES. That, well, the original, right? Original was on NES, and then they've made some But like the newer one, like Super I remember Nintendo playing. Nintendo Genesis, and then the their big one that people like, Legacy, was... Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. Okay, maybe th maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. But yeah, loved those. And this looks like totally some. And except this adds building elements. Comes out in 2024, not specific, but still that looks really cool. Looks like a blast. Then we have Silent Hill: The Short Message, which is free to play instantly right away. I think it's a. Is it a mobile game or it's just a game that you can just download and play? Because I thought it was kind of like a mobile game. I even heard on other podcasts like, yeah, it's just a teaser. Like it's it's not it's not really what people want. Like give quit wasting time on this stuff that's not what people want, and focus on the things that people want, which is Silent Hill Two remake. Yeah. Like that's what people want. That's what that's what everybody wants. Like you don't even have to be a person that knows Silent Hill Two and you want the remake. Like I never even played it, and I'm like, yeah, I want it. Yeah, you know, like. I seen the movies and I like the movies and it's terrifying and everybody knows Silent Hill 2 is like the best one. So like, yeah, let's focus on that and let's get it out. I don't remember that there being a date for that one either, as well as for Judas, which I don't remember what Judas was. And then there was Metro Awakening on PS VR 2. That comes out 2024. Then Legendary Tales Action RPG, which is also a PS VR 2. That comes out February 8th. And then there's Dragon's Dogma to March 22nd. And I was like, I've been researching Dragon's Dogma for a while because I didn't play the first one. I heard it's so great. And then this one comes out and I'm like, 
man, I have to play the first one before this one comes out, which yeah. I probably won't be able to because they're too violent. They, have, they have the Netflix series, too, so, based off of it, too. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're it's solid. Okay. I, I feel the writing could be better, but if you like the game, you'll like the Netflix series. Okay, sweet. But that game looked phenomenal. I was like, because at first, like, I didn't know what it was because I haven't played the first one. And I was like, this game looks so good. Like... It looks phenomenal. And then there was like, oh, it's Dragon Zone 1. I was like, two. And I was like, okay, yeah. All right. I'm down. I'm down for it. I don't know if I'll be able to play it, but I'm down for it. Rise of the Ronin, March 22nd. And I'm like, is that a, a Ghost of Tsushima like, follow-up? Or like a prequel? Or is this inspired by? I think it's inspired by. So, because I don't think, it doesn't seem like it's the same team or anything like that. But if it's as good or nearly as good, I'm down for it. And that comes out March 22nd. Then there's Until Dawn, which I think they're making a movie of it, like an actual movie of it, and that's what the main focus on that was. And then Death Stranding 2, 2020, 25, which that looks good. Like, yeah, it, that it looks does really look good. good. It looks great. I mean, that guy kills it. I didn't play the first one, but I heard it was really long, and I was like, oh, I don't have time for that. Of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There's yeah. that, which looks beautiful and gorgeous, and I just want to... I just want to be all up inside it, and I, 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 because I played the the remake of the first part, and I was like, I loved it so much, and I, I just want to be back in that world. I don't know if I'll be able to get to play it because once again, it might be too violent, but if you can, then definitely do it because it's going to be absolutely phenomenal, right? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be really good. Then I want to talk about our merch. <gasps> My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this. Two cabbages, please. Which is Avatar focused. I have the Airbender one because I've always felt like I have connected with Airbenders. I've been told that, like, oh, hey, you're a cool, chill, mellow, go with the flow kind of dude, which is also kind of water, but not exactly. So, and I'd totally rock some head tattoos and just like live in a temple, you know, and ride mm -hmm. a, uh, a bison. But yeah, so I love this. Uh, it's actually Slay J designed this superb and there's different versions there's you can do white lettering or black lettering this is the tank top version and we have all kinds of different versions there's ones with with like the all the symbols on the sleeve there's so it's there's top-notch stuff and it's so great and i was i'm so impressed with the designs that slay j came up with it he really killed it and uh, so definitely check it out because it's on sale now for this month which we don't have much for for the month of february so I don't know if we should keep it going. I feel I like quote, maybe we should keep it going. I think we should extend it to the you next know? month. The because it's, it's such a big deal. Like, it's so good. I need More people need to see this show. Yeah. And and even if you're not into the live action, you should still get it. Because pick whichever one. Because I know everybody has their different versions of which they are, like yours. But yeah, Fire Nation. How can you go wrong with Fire Nation? The Breath of Life. <laughs> you can't argue with the Breath of Life. Because that's, uh, if you watch the cartoon, when they go find the origins of firebending, because the Fire Nation has corrupted their way of doing firebending, so they don't actually use the true uh, origin of it. They use anger. Mm -hmm. And, well, they're very angry people, so it's effective. <laughs> but Iroh doesn't use anger. He uses the real purpose of it and that's why he's so powerful oh he's so great i love oh, i loved his parts in the show like when he used yeah. his, his fire bending i was like oh my god or, or the awesome. fact he developed like the whole blue lightning defect deflection thing he's like yeah i learned this i've seen waterbenders do this similarly but i apply it to fire bending you just go like this and then you just let it flow through and go out yeah yeah, crazy, dude. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, my wife is definitely a firebender. I feel like I need to get her a firebender shirt because she is fire and fury, and she definitely uses her fire for, not always, not always for for anger and hate, but I feel like uh, maybe in aggression, but most of the time, sometimes it's for love, you know, of the, of the children and things she cares about, but yeah. And then I know that Slay J got... Did he get earth or no? He got water because he's like, he's all about the the blood bending. He's 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 like, yeah, I'm a blood bender. Like that's what he is. Maybe it should be like tainted with some red or something, you know? 
Uh, but yeah, I so. mean, you know, subgenres. The blood bending's cool, but I mean, what about lava bending? Yeah, <laughs> and, lava, uh, lava metal bending, bending is <laughs> sick. Yeah, metal is 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 metal. Yeah, it's it's hardcore for sure. I I do I love the ice. Like that's so cool. Like the ice because I'm like. Especially, like, they use, like, and they can just freeze people in place and stuff. And, like, she uses, like, ice blades. Oh, my gosh. Katara does. Like, there's so much stuff that's just, like, so cool about uh, waterbending. And then, but I kind of feel like, I, I've told my wife, though, like, I do, maybe she is more Earth. But I don't, because Earth is really cool, too. And, like I said, Earth was done so much better, I feel like, in the this live-action show than even, I think, the the animated because they made it make sense they, they improved it they made it better we'll, we'll see depends on how so, tough is yeah we will see we will see tough because some of the characters i'm like i would not have gone with that person as like that person but whatever like some of them are better and some of them are not like yeah we'll see. zuko makes feelings so I, I like zuko he's pretty good but yeah Sokka's like perfect um yeah. i feel like a lot of them are like ang perfect iroh perfect like there's some where just like could not be more perfect. You're like crazy. So yeah, but uh, but yeah. So that's so make sure you check it out because it's on sale with free shipping. The, our merch of the month is and anything that says talk nerdy to me on it. That stuff is the cheapest. That stuff's usually like fifteen bucks, and full price is like thirty bucks. But yeah, we have we have really great sales uh, for our merch of the month stuff. So definitely check all that stuff out because we have Halo stuff on there as well for this month. Pretty much anything that you could check out this month that's related, it's going to be on there. It's expect that. We're making merch for it. If it's nerdy, we're making merch for it. And that's what you have to expect for this month and for the February and for any month, even for March, right? So, but speaking of people, we're doing it for you. Do it. They're, they do stuff for us. We work together are the people that we have been uh, networking with. So I, I have to give a shout out with them. Always at the top of that list has to be Atticus because he's the king. You know, he's the, what is the Batman of La, La, um, like how? I, I want to say, I'm probably saying it wrong. Definitely check out his stuff on YouTube. That's his main focus. That's what he focuses on. He's very interactive. He's very raw. He's very, shows you what life is like in Vietnam in a small town and everything. He he goes to big towns too like yeah. So you see it all and it's it's real legit stuff and there's also if you want to be an English teacher out there, he gives you yeah, some tips one of and, his and last stuff like videos that. videos was like this is how I do laundry out here. Yeah. So like just simple stuff to like it's it's great stuff. I I love his stuff. It's so good. Also networkers or Berna Kenshin she has great stuff on YouTube. Really, all of her content is, is gold. She does cosplay. She's hardcore Splatooner and anime uh, aficionado. I feel like I can say phenomenal stuff on there. Definitely check her out. Uh, the Superpower list. Check them out across the board, where it's Facebook, Twitter, wherever they're at. Check them out. They're really cool. I love the stuff that they post. They're pretty hardcore, deep into comics, nerds, for sure. And then we have... Riot TV is really cool. Check them out. They're one of ours. Uh, Randy uh, S0725 on, on the tweets. Uh, they're really cool. Actually, that's the same guy that does a superpower list. So, yeah, that's theirs. Uh, Amerimay Media, they're super cool. They're really awesome. Check all their stuff out, too. Uh, Web Imagine Service does music. The Film Rage guys are so good. If, you, if you're hardcore into movies, they cover everything every single movie out there like they rage about it because they, they they're doing it for the people because they watch all the bad everything they'll watch it whether it's good or bad they watch it they go through the pain like we're going through the pain of halo you know they do it for the people so yeah and it's funny stuff they're funny and they're cool the mk jekyll and hyde they do like a web comic and stuff but they have great content across the board on all their social media so definitely check them out and then Filmmakers Pod, Cinematic, Anarchy, Pesky Gremlins, uh, Gmart 8, Billy D's, Po Boy Pod, and Gone Cold Podcast. Those are also some other ones that are great to check out. So, yeah, check them out because they're awesome. And uh, I, think, uh, I think that's it for this week. Or for this month, actually. For this yeah. month. So check out our stuff for, for March. Our, our merch and all our content. 
like I said, we're going to be try to cover as much of the nerdy stuff as possible. So Yeah, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Uh, they're worth watching and a blast. So stay nerdy, planet Earth. And talk nerdy to me.